Hello people, I'm the Anime Hero, and I review anime so you can enjoy it. And today's feature is a movie based on a Shonen Jump series known as Saki Gake Otoku Juku. Most people have recently heard of Otoku Juku through the recent J-Stars game featuring the characters Momotaro and Enajima. Before I talk about the film, allow me to explain the premise of this 80s battle shonen. During the 1980s, Fist of the North Star had this huge hype train to the point where various other artists were heavily influenced by this manly shonen, such as Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Rikyo, and our current topic, Sakigake Otoko Jugu. The plot of this series is easy to follow, but maintains an over-the-top atmosphere since our characters consist of high school dropouts who all enroll in the private school known as Otoko Juku, run by their manly principal! <laughs> Essentially, the entire series consists of manly challenges such as the oil bath, the great chamiel, and multiple manly death battles in the GREATEST TOURNAMENT I GAVE IT! Most ongoing shounen to game movies tend to have a very similar but easy to follow plot. During the summer break, Odokujuku is invited to the Big Battle August, a tournament filled with various teams where the winner earns the title, the strongest of the world. This is basically a much smaller version of the manga arc Heaven Olympics Tournament with a greater emphasis on small due to its roster. Like most shonen films, the characters are never really explored as it caters to the already established fans of the anime. Regardless, I feel the movie serves as an introduction to newcomers as it portrays the more action side of Tokujuku as originally the series began with a comedy arc which quickly transitioned into a battle shonen. Other reasons include the characters as the anime takes a while for the series to develop an established group. In the beginning, Otoku Juku started with Momotaro and Dogashi and eventually gained more characters with each story arc, with the final result being a main cast of over 20 characters. Our characters consist of Otoku Juku's first year students, whose leader is the swordsman Surugi Momotaro, the daredevil Togashi Genji, the American boxer Jay, and the self taught martial artist Doromaru Ryuji. However, the film also brings along the comedic cast, which is one of the problems of the movie. One of the things about shonen flicks is that they never seem to fit in continuity due to being put in production while the manga and anime were still being made. Because of this, Certain characters are either left out or events from the anime end up being recycled into the motion pictures. In this case, the characters Date Omito and the Three Fists are absent from the movie which could have provided much more action. The same goes for the second year student Akashi Goji who only makes a brief appearance in the film. That being said, our shonen heroes are interpreted as competitive and manly but a bit cliche as it doesn't really dive into their character traits. Of all the featured characters, Togashi and Jay are the only ones who earned more of a focus due to their fight scenes being the best of the movie. As for the rest of the cast, they emphasize their school spirit and determination for winning this tournament. The other competitors of the Big Battle August include the 3S group, which consists of America's finest warriors, and they each have the most stereotypical names you can think of. <laughs> They don't really play a big role to the second half of the film, where the two teams start fighting each other. However, BJ Bruce is fucking manly. While you don't get much insight on the characters, but as a shonen fan, you'll be shouting things like BJ MANLY! Yeah! One of the highlights of this movie is the setting of being on a road trip to various locations and engaging in different challenges until they reach the finish line. Afterwards, the movie then concludes with one-on-one -on -one fighting in bizarre over-the-top martial arts. Examples include a boxer versus a fencer, then immediately changes into... this. Being a theatrical feature, its soundtrack is different from the anime series. Shunsuke Kikuchiki composed the anime OST, which is great by the way. The movie, however, is performed by the Columbia Orchestra and written by Ichiro Nita. The OSTs in the movie have a more upbeat tone compared to Kikuchi's diverse score, but the movie tracks are still good, just not on the same level. I personally like listening to this tune the most.
As a highlight for a Fist of the North Star fans, you may recognize certain voices. その心と共に俺は戦うぜ。the only honest flaw to the movie is the final battle being very short and doesn't make Momo stand out as a unique protagonist. It just makes him look kind of bland, which is a shame as the movie's opening and ending credits display Momotaro as a very cool character. But as stated earlier, the movie just feels like a taste sample of what the anime and manga offers. If you haven't seen the series, I suggest you watch the movie first as it gives you an idea of the ludicrous creativity of its battles. And if you want more Otokujuku, watch the anime, then jump to the manga from chapter 70 onwards. If fighting's what you're looking for, then this series is what you need. The obvious recommendations for Sakigake Otokujuku are Fist of the North Star and Jojo Bizarre Adventure, as these three titles should be known as the Big Three of Manliness!